Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. We're now joined by Kendall Jacobs. Welcome to the show. Thanks, nice to be here. Being a defensive back and now one of the leaders on defense, what is the biggest difference between Code Black last year and what have you seen in preseason practice so far? Um, this year, I think we just have new energy. We have uh, new faces, guys really ready to learn and willing to learn and get into the scheme of things and, and just try to be Code Black as soon as possible. <laughs> Besides yourself, who are some of the guys on defense that fans should be on the lookout for this year? Uh, I would have to say Michael Keck, uh, Mike Lawrence, Ayers Brooks, Tyreek Holloway, uh, just, just to name a few. Um, uh, Rondrick Bamberg and uh, Carlos Manny. What have you been most impressed with in preseason practice so far? Uh, I think the guys' the willingness to learn. Um, like I said, we have new faces. Uh, I feel like for us to be young, we're picking up things very fast, um, not making the same mistakes, and I'm really impressed with that. Um, I mean, we are making new mistakes, but I mean, that's better than making the same mistakes, in my opinion. What goals has Code Black set for itself this year? Code Black, as always, we set, uh, try to be one of the premier defenses in, in D2 um, and in, in the nation, uh, try to be top 25 in, in as many areas as we can, and just trying to be as premier as possible. What are some of your personal goals this season? Personally, um, first and foremost, I want to be a leader on the defense. Um, uh, guy, guys can come ask questions and hopefully I know most of the answers or ask about uh, academics and hopefully I know most of those answers. And, and then uh, f as far as on the field, I want to be an academic All-American um, or uh, just a regular All-American um, on the field. There are 10 games on the schedule, but which one are you most looking forward to playing this year and why? Um, I had to say Winston-Salem State. September 3rd, uh, the lights will be on. Um, all, the, all the guys on the campus and girls on the campus will be here and it'll just, I feel like the energy will just be electric. So I, I definitely have to say that one. But other than that one, uh, North Alabama um, had a great game against them last year. They're always great competition and uh, they, bring, they always bring it. So um, I'm definitely ready to uh, try to uh, beat them for the first time. Thanks so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Now we are talking with B.J. Bunn. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. You're just a junior, but have been one of the go-to wide receivers on this team for the last two years. What is the difference between B.J. Bunn as a freshman and B.J. Bunn as a junior? Um, my role has changed um, dramatically. Um, two years ago, um, I was more of a role player, you know, um, following the guys, the leaders. Now my role has changed. I'm a leader, and I have to get guys going. Um, yeah, my energy um, has to change. Um, I have to be the one to get guys going now instead of the role I used to have where I was looking to other guys to get going. So, The offense has a core of guys coming back from last year, but what are some of the differences you have seen in the offense from last year to this year in preseason practice so far? Um, my execution when we're on the field. Um, last year we kind of had an idea um, who was getting the ball. This year our core is so strong. You never know who's getting the ball. Um, we are too deep. We have competition this year. Um, so, and competition fuels, you know, better plays and, and we're just executing the ball this year. When we get in the red zone, we're actually scoring. What are some of the goals that the offense has set for itself this year? Like I said, for the red zone, every time we're in the red zone, we need to get some kind of points, either three or seven, um, to, to just execute plays because last year we really didn't execute plays. We had the plays set up, but we didn't execute them to our best of our abilities. And this year we're just focusing on our job. Everybody has a role and, if, and the train's moving. That's pretty much it. We're just, everyone's focused. Have you thought about anything that you want to accomplish in 2015? Personally, I would um, we'll want to get a thousand yards this year and 60 plus catches. You guys start the season on Thursday night, September 3rd, against Winston-Salem State. What makes that game such a big rivalry, and how much more hyped do you guys get to play on a Thursday night under the lights? Um, what makes the game so hype? Um, we've only beat Winston one time in seven years. Um, we're usually an underdog going into the game. Um, Winston-Salem is always a uh, competitor for the national championship, and by beating Winston or competing against Winston, it gives us an idea of how the season is going to go. And it's under the lights Thursday night, and um, it's just 
playing under the lights on a Thursday, you know, you have a lot of support from the UNCP community. It's just playing under the lights is just so, it's just, it's just a different atmosphere. Thanks so much for being on the show. Uh, thank you. And thank you for watching this week's edition of the Black and Gold Report. Until next week, go Braves. Thank <laughs> you.